So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now, once it's on this, if you see anything that says Apex Legends or Origins on it, you want to close it. So just scroll down. If you see that, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. Then you want to head over to the Details tab and do the same thing. If you see Apex Legends or Origins, you just want to close that as well. Right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. Now for the second step, you want to head over to Steam. Then you want to right click on Apex Legends and then click on Properties. Then you want to click on Installed Files and click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Now once that's been done, you want to click on Browse. You want to find where you have your Apex Legends installed. And then you want to find the r5apex.exe file. You want to right click on it and then click on Properties and then click on Compatibility. Then you want to make sure that the Sable Full Screen Optimizations has been ticked and that Run This Program as an Administrator has also been ticked and then click on OK. For the next step, you want to head over to Search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as an Administrator and then click on Yes. Now once it's on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on Enter. Then we're going to type in NETSH space WinSock space reset and click on enter again. Now you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.